In these next two videos, I'm going to tell you how to land the serving job of your dreams. This information applies to everyone, from someone that's new to the industry applying places for their first time, to someone that's been serving for years that still hasn't been able to land a job at that one spot that all the rumors suggest is the place to make the most money. In a lot of cases where there is that one killer spot, it can be really hard to land a job there because the servers that work there know what they've got and they're not leaving anytime soon. I've known many places like this where basically you have to wait and hope that someone will quit or get fired just so you can have a shot and get the most lucrative shifts. I cover this quite a bit in my book, but here's the basics. Come in and apply at a time when it is not busy. Typically for most restaurants, that's between 2 to 4 p.m. through the week. Bring a pen. I used to work at a place where I made insane money that had an owner that would throw out any application that a person filled out, regardless of experience, if they showed up to fill it out without a pen. She'd always say, if they show up that unprepared to fill out an application, imagine how unprepared they'll be when they show up to work. Since then, I've worked with many other owners and managers that definitely agree with this. Do not apply while you're in the bar there getting wasted or in the same vein, do not order a boozy beverage to have while you're sitting there filling out your application. I've seen this so many times, especially with experienced servers, which is kind of odd and it's never a good sign. I've worked with more than one manager that would immediately toss any application they received in the trash without even looking at it if they saw the applicant drinking while they were filling it out. Dress the part. I'm not suggesting a formal dress or suit and tie unless it's extreme fine dining, but my god, the amount of people that come in to apply wearing flip-flops, flannel pajama pants, wife beaters, I mean, <laughs> it's crazy. If you're trying to land a six-figure job, you should dress like you're applying for one. Put together a decent resume and cover letter. This is so easy nowadays. Google has beautiful templates you can just modify and use. And please, for the love of god, run it through a spell checker. There's plenty of free services that offer this. Just Google spell checker online and tons come up. And that's pretty much it. In the next video, I'll cover how to blow them away at your interview.